everyone, it's Tiago here. In this video I'm going to show you one of my flights. I will explain what I usually do and show you some of the action. Before every flight, it's necessary to do the pre-flight inspection. It consists of checking if the aircraft is airworthy and ready for the flight. It's necessary to check everything on the aircraft, like lights, airframe, engine oil, fuel, flight control, sensors, landing gear, you name it. We want to make sure that the aircraft is in perfect condition and everything is working as it should be. After the pre-flight inspection, we jump into the aircraft and start to set everything to engine start. Flight inspection completed, check, flips, retract, check, passenger brief, door to be closed, seats adjusted in position, secure, select release fuel tank, check. Parking brake on, check, secret breakers all in, check, alternator close, alternator static, close, check, LTR, check, automatical switches off, off, check, flight control is feeling correct. Check, check fuel tanks, check frequency and start. Frequency 109 decimal 8, put information, check. When everything in the aircraft is set in order to start the engine, it's necessary to ask for a startup. Where I fly, since we don't have 80s, the AFIS will tell us the runway news, the QA and the wind. Clear, front is clear, left is clear. Clear, prop! <laughs> After engine start, we turn on the avionics master and we'll check if all the avionics are working properly, which include the GPS, the FMS and nav aids.
Before taxiing, it's necessary to do all the briefings. The taxi, the departure, the emergency and the TAM briefings. In these briefings, we explain to the instructor what we are going to do in these stages of the flight and what we might expect. Before entering the runway for takeoff, it's performed the run-up check. We do the run-up to check if the engine has any problem and if it's everything set up for takeoff and ready to go. After takeoff, we must perform the after takeoff checklist, climb checklist, and when level of our climb, we do the cruise checklist. These checklists are important in order to have the aircraft properly set for each stage of the flight. We can do it by memory, but in order to make sure that everything is set properly, checklists are there for it. The 
aircraft that I am currently flying is a Piper Racker 28. It's a four-seater aircraft with almost 11 meters of wingspan and 7 meters long. Its cruise speed is around 220 km per hour and have an endurance of 5 hours. I'm loving this aircraft. It has everything that you need in order to have a comfortable flight. It's stable and its handling is amazing. Depending on the stage of our training, we can practice some general handling, emergency or instrument procedures. We get prepared for everything in the future, in order to be ready for any eventuality. Despite the responsibility and workload, flying is one of the most enjoyable experiences that you can have. Flying is amazing, not just from the views that you see, but from the freedom that comes with it. If you love flying as me, you never get tired of it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and see you on the next one.